Welcome, welcome to the Keith Leod Radio Show live, and also we are live on HoustonStahanoHits.com fan page, and also on my YouTube channel, the Keith Leod Radio Show as well. Happy Sunday to everyone out there that's uh, tuned in. Please share the video if you are watching us right now, and for the very first time, I would like to welcome Mr. Hugo Garcia from Grupo Insignia. Welcome, my brother. Thank you, Keith. Uh, it's really a, a pleasure to be here, and uh, un saludo para toda la gente de México que está viendo. Um, we're super uh, uh, excited to be here, just because we, you know, we were uh, talking offline. Uh, it's uh, it's exciting because some people, uh, like in your case, you you you're listening to our music for the first time, and that makes us uh, feel like when we first started, like back in 2004. 2004, mm -hmm. that was our first record, and it's, you know, same. Um, feelings and same situation uh, uh, are present and we are really, really excited and we feel like we are like just with a little bit more of experience, obviously a little more years, but uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely uh, it feels pretty much the same thing. Yes. And because, you know, we're, like, we're, like you said, we were, we were talking offline here momentarily, you, um, uh, y'all stepped away from the, from the, from the scene for, for some time and yeah. everybody went their separate ways. And now it's like a whole brand new beginning for you guys once again. Exactly, it was a different different world. But back then, we will have mm -hmm. to go physically go uh, to the to the radio station and mm -hmm. get the promo and and you know travel. And, and and now it's everything is here. You know, we're talking <laughs> out in the distance here, and people are uh, receptive in, in all different places. Different uh, places. Yeah, well, you know, I'm very thankful that you know we have this opportunity to talk to you. Yeah, and we appreciate you. It's an honor to have you on the show here today. So let's uh, let's get everybody started here. Let's get started. Um, tell them a little bit about about yourself, Hugo. Y también uh, a little bit about uh, Grupo Insignia. Where are you guys from? And so, uh, thank you. So um, um, my bro, well, it, it, we we started uh, the band. My brother Roberto uh, Garcia and Genaro Garcia. He's our cousin. So we basically we started uh, back in two thousand one. Uh, we started like playing, you know, all these different uh, parties and 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 weddings and and quinceañeras and all those things. Uh, it wasn't until 2003 when we uh, we were able to record uh, our first record and we released the record on 2004. So um, we uh, definitely uh, were very blessed because the very first single that we we uh, put out on the radio uh, it, it was really uh, a true hit. Uh, it was Algo en Ti, which is uh, a song that it, it, it's actually uh, written by the same uh, writer of Eres Mi Debilidad. You know, it's kind of like full circle kind of thing. Uh, and um, with that song, we, we we caught the attention of all the booking agencies in Mexico, uh, one of like the biggest biggest mm -hmm. ones. And it was basically we, we had to make the decision on the fly and we we went to Cerca, which is a uh, Servando Cano uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, office. We we were so uh, all of a sudden, you know, it, there wasn't any social media. There wasn't any <laughs> obviously the social Nothing. media that you you might find at that time was probably uh, MySpace. That was like that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was huge back then. That was huh? huge back then, right? So uh, there was really. It was more, uh, uh, you know, uh, spreading the mouth, to, you know, to mouth and, and, and people, uh, you know, seeing you playing live. That was that was our presentation, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started that band with uh, uh, Chuy in, uh, Suñiga, uh, uh, Jesus Avila, and, um, and, and that's it. Uh, so, so those five. That was like the original uh, lineup, and until um, 20, uh, 2006, we 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 recorded our first, second album, twenty oh seven or last one with Circa, and and we were and we were about to you know uh, uh, go to a different place. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, things didn't work out, and just to make story short, uh, everybody went uh, separate ways. Mm -hmm. So. We, we had to, uh, it was very, uh, 
in my in my view, I think it was a very disruptive way of ending things because we didn't have the chance to communicate with our audience, and mm -hmm. it was like, uh, you know, it's like it just you're gone and that's it. Yeah, I cold gone. All this all this time, I was actually re you know going back to YouTube and uh, reading people saying you know that I died and I, that was one one of the things people were saying that I died. And then people were saying, oh, my God, you know, poor guy, you know, he was such a great guy, whatever. And obviously I was like, should I say something like I'm not dead or something? Mm -hmm. uh, and all the people were saying that I, I went to wrestling like I was a wrestler. And mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. I, I, I actually got pumped with with that, you know, version <laughs> of reality. And, mm -hmm. but it, you know, you know uh, it, it was very, you know, very uh, 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 I, I think personally, it, it was a very inefficient way of communicating with with our audience. But here we are, you know, we uh, yeah. January of this year, I uh, I took over the, uh, the the Facebook page of, of the group, and I was like, um, "Hey guys, um, we're coming back. We're you know we're putting print out our uh, our latest album. And what do you mm -hmm. what do you guys think? I was honestly, I was thinking I was gonna get like two likes or you know or not even likes you know it's just like <laughs> just a... what are you doing here um <laughs> but eventually uh we we, we received a, a great uh response from people from all over the place not just mm -hmm. from the us from mexico where we got we got uh a lot of people from colombia uh, wow. a lot of people from south america i, I don't even want to mention all the the individual countries because mm -hmm. it, it, it I don't want to skip anybody, but, but I can I can tell you this much. Uh, I was very very surprised. Mm -hmm. Wow! So, and you should and you should be definitely should be getting all that support from down there. You know, true. I mean, and you have uh, some great music out as well that we'll get to some uh, to share with everybody that's watching us today. So if you're watching again with us today, uh, share the share the video, share this uh, broadcast. I uh, so we want to get the word out. We want to get the, these guys are back in back in, in action again. You know, as the insignia. Okay, so. Insignia, they got Voya Marte, which is one song that's being played here at HoustonStejanoHits.com, and we'll get to that in a minute as well in the video. Uh, another uh, song, which is your uh, current single that you just released right after Voya Marte, you know, uh, Eres Mi Civilidad. Uh, so that one there is another another great song to follow up from uh, Voya Marte. And um, uh, tell me a little bit about those songs. Uh, let's go with the Voya Marte, which is Perfect. the first single oh. off the album. Excellent. So Voya Marte is a song uh, written by a female songwriter from Colombia, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the third song that we, we recorded from her. And when we uh, we were looking for the first single, and we, we wanted to pick a song that will be different, but at the same time, we'll let people know, hey, this is this is us. You know, it hasn't changed anything. It, it just, you know, it, it's just a different song. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we we kind of did that. Um, um, all of a sudden, you know, there was a, a great uh, uh, streaming on uh, the you know the most important uh, uh, platforms, and and on YouTube, it, it got to a point where I was again surprised. I I thought you know we were gonna get you know, a few thousands of views and things like that, but all of a sudden it got really. It got really impressive, and in the second one, um, I must say, I'm actually even more surprised because, uh, like, the, within the first week, we we had like 150,000 views, which wow. it might be not nothing for other bands, but if like mm -hmm. for us coming from uh, zero, you know, staying, you know, being on the on the on the couch of our yeah. house, <laughs> and it, it, it's impressive, and and we are really thankful that people are, you know, uh, like you're saying, sharing our videos and sharing our music and and you know spreading the word out and every single thing that they share with me i try to share with with everybody on our social media mm -hmm. uh, because it's, it's 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 great and you know to me especially they take the time for you know to record what you know like uh two two days ago uh the the, the largest or the most important uh fair in mexico is san marcos in aguascalientes it's like the biggest mm -hmm there and this uh you know the, the, this this guy uh, sent me a video of uh he, he was walking you know and and that was uh on out in on the speakers uh there was the our first single you oh, know wow. playing and he was like recording and it's like you know they're still playing your music here 
and I share that video with everybody just to let them know, you know, hey, we are really grateful that, you know, people are not forgetting after almost 20 years. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really kind of crazy to me. Yeah, a lot, it was a, a, a very long, extensive break there, but uh, you're back and you're back and you're back with, and stronger, you know what I mean? Uh, than you were then, and then you're coming back with a lot of different things uh, now that you didn't have back then, you know, again, going back to the social media part, you know, plays a big part in your uh, career, sharing your music, uh, your your fans, you know, your fan pages and all that does play a big part and everything like that. So, uh, you know, if you guys are watching, again, share the video and you can follow Grupo um, Insignia también. You can follow them uh, on all social media platforms. So we'll get to those, uh, to those here towards the end of the show, but we want to share the first, um, uh, single that you have out uh, with everybody out there so that you're watching. So as the Voya Marta is the name of this song. We just filled us in on the, the, the uh, songs right now. So as to check this video out, we're going to hear it right here on the Keith Leal Radio Show live right here on Facebook, YouTube, and also the uh, radio station as well, Houston's Tejano Hits. So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the uh, the current. That was your debut single off the current album that you have out right now, right? Right. And I was as I was listening to the music, I was thinking I, I didn't mention the name of the songwriter uh, Maria Jose Ospino, which is uh, in Colombia is one of the like the wow, like the biggest names uh, as you know for uh, Colombian music. But I mean, she writes really beautiful, beautiful ly lyrics, and uh, she actually wrote that song to her daughter. So it really it, it tells you that it, it, in in lyrics, you know, you can you can mean a lot of stuff, lot and of people things, will yeah. not always necessarily think about like you know from uh, a couple, you know, a couple talking or relationships, or it's, it's more sometimes you know you can apply those 
lyrics to uh, to everything, you know, in mm-hmm. life, which is is the important part. I think right. we are uh, sometimes, you know, so uh, used to uh, living in a very negative uh, news, and and sometimes all we need is just have some, you know, some light with with you know positive messages, and I think that's that's what this song brings to the table. Awesome, awesome. If you guys are, are watching out there, uh, let us know where you're watching from. As to, we've got some uh, comments here that we're going to go to right here so we can share with everybody out there. So we've got uh, Mr. Uh, Paula, uh, Miss Paula Garcia is also. We're glad to uh, that we can uh, listen to your music once again. Uh, Jessica from Houston also has uh, got us uh, tuned in watching. As to Paul Garza from McAllen, Texas. También. Thank you so much for uh, watching this afternoon or this evening, should I say. Uh, Dave Hernandez also as well. And uh, check this one out here. She says here, uh, Isabella says, ah! uh, I'm your fan since MySpace. Wow. I, t- I told you, MySpace <laughs> was the biggest thing. And uh, there was another thing, fo- Photolog or something. It was just like a, a very um, uh, ecstatic uh, way of communicating because it was just like a picture. Then people will comment. I don't know if you uh, – that's probably too 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 long ago, but it, that was that was it. That was that was the only the only tools that we had, and obviously the main the main tool was visiting to to the specific city of you know, we 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 were so we actually we we're so fortunate that we we uh, we we're uh, few you know a few of the the maybe many of the few bands that actually have uh, fan clubs which. Uh, to me, it's, it's still, you know, unbelievable that we still manage to have these people believing in our music. Mm-hmm. And obviously, they, they, they got married, they have kids, and they still managed to do it. Honestly, I am just so touched by, you know, by people being here. Being oh, here. Austin, Violeta. Yes, Austin, Austin, Texas. She is there también. Let's see here. We've got to, let's see here. There's a couple of more here from Mission, Texas. We've got another one that just uh, chimed in here. That's right, down Apollo Lopez. Uh, let's see. Yes, we've got quite a few people that are actually right here. Abby as well loves the music, so we appreciate that. Thank you. That's them. And uh, we got, again, that was uh, his first single off the debut. So you can go and grab that, by the way, if you all guys are watching there. You can go and add that to your playlist. It is available uh, to stream and download on all streaming platforms, so go out there and check it out. Search Grupo Ins- Insignia, and uh, they will definitely have uh, quite. Do you have all your music uploaded there, or is it just the current album that you so have out now? It, it's everything. Everything is except for the the rest of the album. Uh, we're gonna uh, release a couple more singles, and then we, we're gonna have the the whole record available for everybody. So that's. I mean, like the all the the previous three records, they're all available and and ready to to to, to live listen. stream. They can listen yeah. to it and. Exactly. And take it from there. Well, it is me, that. Okay, tell me a little bit about that song before we get to it. Once we're done there, we will wrap and we'll go straight into that video as well. We've got Perfect. that song that's currently out right now, making some noise. Perfect. This song is uh, is written by uh, Alejandro Abad, which is a, a, a ch- guy from Chile, but he's right now in Spain. And he's a Spaniard as well. Uh, so he wrote uh, the, our first single, Algo en Ti, and he wrote this song for... Uh, um, a singer that uh, he, I, I used to, uh, my, my, now my wife and I, we, we, we used to listen to him, uh, Marcos Jonas. He will be very, um, have a very delicate voice, really, really nice, and 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 and, and those uh, those songs were always in our minds, and and we were always trying to, you know, uh, propose to somehow. Make them available for for you know for or, or you know to our music and and me the editing the realidad basically came came as a, a as a something that you know we we want to make sure that we 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 tell people that we love that we love them and you know you're mm-hmm. my weak basically you're my weakness in the sense of you know I can I can definitely do anything for you for you because you know you're my, but again you know it can be applied mm-hmm. to your kid to your to your mom to your grandma. You know, it, it, it doesn't have to be. It. it doesn't have to be to one specific person. So I, I think that's that's what I like about those messages where mm-hmm. people can take that song and make it make, make it their own. 
Right, exactly. So take a listen to it out there if you're watching. Again, share the video and uh, let us know where you're watching from. Again, here it is, uh, Grupo Insignia right here with the Keith Leal Radio Show live. Aclarar este embrollo y salir de una vez de este hoyo. Es urgente restar en la importancia al orgullo, al rencor y la rabia. Es sentir el bosquillo del amor cuando es deseo y el poder de tu mirada que se pierde por. Nice, nice. Another great video right there from Grupo Insignia. You can uh, view those on uh, YouTube as well. And uh, don't forget, the songs are available on all digital streaming platforms. Go out there and, uh, you know, you everyone has their own platform that they use. Uh, go out there and search Grupo Insignia. The music is there. Este, and uh, download them. Add them to your playlist. I mean, another great thing. So, again, este, Hugo, uh, this far, you know what I mean, um, what would you say has been has it been a smooth ride for you guys to get back on track or what are some of the obstacles you guys face to trying to get back on the road again so um i think it's 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 been great in the sense of uh we didn't have a lot of ex expectations to be honest with you we, mm -hmm. we we didn't know uh if this was gonna work out in the sense of people being interested but we were at least um you know willing to run the risk of sharing our music even if people didn't didn't, didn't care uh, mm -hmm. we we feel like people are receptive and and they, they they're you know supporting our music which is great uh, but it, then again you know my my philosophy on doing this thing is um, I'm not here uh, because I want to you know I want to be the center of the attention or I want to make money on uh, you know uh, the easy way i uh, thankfully i'm 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 very blessed uh that i i uh, i have a, a good life uh i i have a great family a great wife and kids and my parents are have always been supportive with our career throughout all the years my brother who who's a drummer uh also he's he's a great person i think um we are we are on, on on a really nice uh 
uh, phase in life that we are uh, enjoying every single thing. And like uh, uh, Jessica from uh, Tolpo Insignia, she mentioned one thing that I, I, I fully agree with her uh, when she said, you know, we're going to support you guys until, you know, whatever, how, how, how long it lasts, mm -hmm. whatever, uh, whatever it needs to go, we will be there for you. And I think that's the greatest thing. Like we have no idea how long this is going to, but this gonna, is gonna last and how long I, the ride is gonna be you know <laughs> you're enjoying the ride that's like that's that's the reality yeah and then that's great you know your fans are, are there they were there uh, before and a lot of them are, are here again today uh, yeah. you know they're keeping up with you so that's that's that is that is awesome you know what i mean uh just to have that support you know what i mean i'm yeah. gonna chime in here again you know there's a lot of uh, people that are still watching us uh, again sharing the video as well um there's quite a few people that are that are that are definitely tuned in so it's the you know we got to get the message out we got to get your music out so that way people can get get ring that ring that bell one more time you know what i mean so um you know it, it's 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 awesome right here jose luis uh, gonzalez says uh Hugo, como estas? Hey, jose luis. nice <laughs> <laughs> wonderful 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 we got a lot of people that are watching right now from all over uh you know we thank you we do appreciate that um Hugo, so um uh, social media sites. If anyone wanted to follow you, do you have any of those on hand right now, or should I yeah. flag the one I have? Sure. Uh, so, uh, if you go on Facebook, um, uh, you can find us uh, Grupo Insignia Oficial. Um, if you go Instagram, it will be Insignia Original altogether at Insignia Original. If you go TikTok, it will be Grupo Insignia at Grupo Insignia, and uh, we have our YouTube channel, which we started with zero followers, you know, so this is all these social media. Honestly, we started just from scratch. I mean, we, we had a, a Facebook, Facebook group with like 3000 and some people and we couldn't mm. figure it out, figure it out how to access. Oh, so really? we had, yeah. We had to start that, <laughs> you know, from, from scratch, but that's fine. Um, so, somebody with a little more uh, knowledge in technology might've found, you know, found the, uh, the right way to do it. But um, uh, in YouTube, uh, we are under uh, at uh, Insignia Original as well. So, well, and, and, and one thing that I want to mention, and just to, so you, uh, you can get a little perspective on this, it's uh, when we finished, uh, or we, we ended up, you know, in 2009, around 2009, 2010, um, until 2023, obviously 13 years, 14 years ago, uh, there was a lot of, uh, insignia group grupos i mean all over the place like i can mm -hmm. I, I can go to uh spotify and i can i point out like at least seven um even though we register the name which is, right now we're not gonna enter into any any other uh issue with with that name but i'm what i'm trying to say is uh people uh are you know first but you know you were talking about how is it a smooth ride well it is mm -hmm. it's just like we have to remind people a, uh, we, we've been out for a long time. We are basically the same same group that we, you know, you you probably heard, you know, a long time ago. But it's just be aware that there's a lot of people, or other other bands with the same name. I don't know why they picked the name. Um, we were. Uh, I was just sharing the other day a, a picture of uh, when we started. We had a different name, and 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 the reason why we picked Insignia is because that name that we had before, which it was awful. Uh, it was already taken so that's why we didn't continue with that name and we had to figure out okay so we 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 have these many options we proposed you know and um and the insignia was available so we right you know we we we, we had to trademark mm -hmm. uh, but it's funny that you know that all of a sudden like everybody you know just just or or bad luck that you know people wanted to name their group the same yeah we, we are yeah I came across that, you know, and I was like, well, and I, and I, searched, I searched a little bit more, but it, it pops up. It's there. So, I mean, I don't think yeah. too many people will have too much trouble, uh, you know, finding you guys, whatever social media platform there was, because the other one does pop up. But I mean, you're, you're, you're still right on top of it anyway. So what, what you're, 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 your Hopefully. logo, as long as they get your logo and your, 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 exactly. you know, your name or your group is there. So, you know, that's, that's the one that's going to, going to draw exactly. their eye. Exactly. Definitely. We want to send a shout out to uh, Irene Mendoza. She's uh, tuned in from uh, Glendale, Arizona. Thank you so much. Says hello, hello, Hi. Google. Hi, Irene. 
There we go. That's great. I mean, we, we, we've been uh, having uh, like a, a rebirth in, in the sense of uh, people from other different places. Uh, yeah. Well, Sandra from Ohio. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we are definitely, you know, blessed uh, in the sense that um, people are still spreading the word and, and, and we're getting every single day. We, I mean, we, we're not, you know, uh, going crazy as uh, other bands like, you know, overnight, but I mean, we are uh, every single day. It's the, you know, the, the, the little by little, we, we, we see an increment in, in followers and, and, and people are, you know, spreading the word, which is great. Um, again, like I was telling you, the, the views for the, the videos are increasing. Mm -hmm. Uh, from the first one to the second one, hopefully in the, now that we're gonna, in three weeks we're gonna release a new uh, video. Um, hopefully people will like it, and uh, it's a song that we we have a lot of faith in in that song because it's 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 a, it's a more um, how can I say, it's like a heartbroken uh, situation. You know, it's it's called Soy de Yelo. It's like you know my my heart is made out of ice. And the reason why is 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 that is because it's you know uh, this yeah. guy has been suffering uh, a lot from relationships, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I I I can relate to that if um, if if something like that has happened in my life, I I I'm pretty sure people have you know struggled with love at some point in their life. So we we, we hope that that song uh, will also uh, you know. Uh, take off, take off, and do well for you. Yeah. We, you know, we're we're throwing out the, the the best songs we have. We we recorded thirteen songs, and we we're gonna include in the in, in this album twelve. Not because the, the thirteen wasn't a good song, but it's just like we we felt like we we want to have a, a concept and a album, and that song didn't fit into the to the to the same you know concept and. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why that's the only reason why we we're not using that song um but we are we're pretty pretty happy with the result we uh we, we we've been working with the same people that we work in our third album which was uh the uh the corazon uh so our producer is gilberto abrego is, is one of the, the the best uh songwriters um i don't know if you remember the song uh intocable song Pero no, no te vayas. Yes, he wrote that family. song, and okay. he's our producer, and and he's actually he appears on the video playing the sex. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we uh, we were we we are basically doing the same thing, working with the same people, just following our instinct, and 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 trying you know trying just to to make 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 good songs and and hopefully people will you know relate to the to those songs no definitely definitely again you know the 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 new single will be out very very soon you can currently hear this the other couple of the songs that they have here on houston but he does have a new single that's going to be out very soon so stay tuned if you're out there and you haven't downloaded our free app download the free app because you'll be able to hear it uh you know right here on houston uh, we'll be playing that uh, throughout the week uh, actually is that we're going to feature a new song coming up next week from uh these guys right here, um, Insignia. So uh, stay tuned to that. You know, if you're out in the Houston area, throughout wherever you're watching from us, they will you'll be able to hear their music definitely here on HoustonStahanoHits.com, the Keith Leal radio show, and all that great stuff. So we do appreciate that. Now, Hugo, another question for you, Hugo. Do you yep. do any songwriting uh, or any producing at all? I do. Uh, um, I, I I don't um, I don't do much um, as as far as you know uh, writing for other people. Mm -hmm. Most of what I write is like I'm thinking like oh, this will sound great with you know with my band and and <laughs> uh, I do have a few songs that other other bands recorded. Um, actually, okay. one one of the, the one of the songs that I I was just I completely forgot about it was from a, from a, an Orteño uh, group from Colombia from actually Colombia Colombia the country and um, I was just like uh, listening to the song the other day and I was like oh, I completely forgot about this. Uh, there was a, another, another, you know, other artists that have recorded my songs, but I mean, it, I I feel like my my thing is writing for like for myself because I know how to how to do it, how to sing it, and um, probably you know if I had the 
time or you know somebody who who will actually come up and, and and ask me hey can you write something for me i might consider it but i mean i'm not really into yeah. writing for like as a you know profession or you know <laughs> yeah make it a career possible. make a career out of songwriting you know, exactly just, exactly yeah yeah <laughs> well, that's wonderful. That's good. We got some good, some great stuff to hear. You know, that's uh, interesting. You know, again, you know, people out there getting to know a little bit more about, you know, Hugo Garcia, you know, and and what you know you're capable of and what you're not capable of and all that other great stuff. So right I, now he's 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 not really uh, he's getting familiar with the with social media. So I am so capable, to that. <laughs> capable of eating like uh, a, a good amount of kolaches from Houston. <laughs> right. I can, awesome. I, can, I can go anytime and and I'm. Um, and Houston really uh, uh, represents a lot of uh, things for me for, in my family. We, we were there for four years and mm -hmm. it was, you know, one of the, the more, most intense four years in my life. But I mean, it was it was a great experience. We have a lot of family there. We have a lot of friends and, and we we truly feel like, uh, we, we, you know, somehow we are adopted Houstonians because we 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 really got along with, you know, with the, mm -hmm. the city and and and. We, you know, big uh, Houston Astros uh, fans, yeah. and so <laughs> you know, it's just, just you know, it, it's a very special place for me. Definitely. So, and where where is home base for you now? So where right now, uh, San, San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas, San Antonio? so three hours away. Um, Wonderful. We we still go to Houston. We have um, uh, our neighbor uh, two houses, you know, from my house back in Houston. They uh, they're they're still like pretty close to us and 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 we we, we go there what you know when we can and, and we can probably you know uh, recharge or you know uh, battery well, yeah connection with you know with seeing people like that yeah definitely and catch up and whatnot so exactly wonderful so anytime if anyone wants to book you guys uh what would they call who can they call to get you guys booked so we do have a, a booking agent uh it's called is his name is manuel soto uh, i do not have his um his um whatsapp what is, you know like in in uh the, the app that's that's how he but the the one thing that you can you guys can it can you know can, whoever is interested they can just send a you know a Facebook uh, inbox or Instagram whatever okay. in the inbox and we can we can just forward that to him he's the one that I, takes care of all the details I, I I personally don't like that that side of the business in the sense <laughs> of uh, I, I I I enjoy you know doing the songs recording the songs putting out the music. And then playing live but i i just you know for some reason it's just like the, the side of like okay the the business side of, of that is just a little too much for me you know yeah so he's 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 an expert he's a he's a uh, he's been working with uh cerca cerca for like for a long time he was working with the uh, invasores de nuevo leon and now he's he's independent but he's working for us too we're working together wonderful Great, great. That's that is just totally awesome. You know, it, it was a pleasure to have you on the show today, Hugo. I mean, I said we learned a lot. We learned a lot from from about you guys, you know, and uh, you know, and and the, the listeners, the people that are watching out there as well. Uh, I'm sure that are tuned in are going to get familiarized with your music. Uh, let's just show them a couple of uh, folders here, you know, from the uh, co album cover that they can expect or the logo that they could actually look for uh, that's currently out on your album right now. So. This is uh, the, the CD cover here, uh, which is available again, ladies and gentlemen. You can go out there and uh, get it. It's available on all streaming platforms. The album is out. Boya Marte is one of the great hit singles off there. And uh, they've got another one as well, another current single that's right now available. So go out and uh, uh, download it. Add it to your playlist today. Grupo Insignia. You don't, want, you don't want to miss this, okay? So keep it there. And keep it tuned as well to HoustonStejanoHits.com. Uh, the music is spinning as well here in Houston. Um, and we're, we're here in Houston and we're also, you know, nationwide. So it's uh, through the internet. So wonderful thing. Hugo, again, we do appreciate you taking the time. Uh, as always, you're welcome back anytime uh, to the show. Thank you so much, Keith. And thank you so much uh, to all, all your, you know, all your team. And we are excited to be uh, sharing our music with you guys. And hopefully uh, we, we'll be back uh, soon. And if anybody wants wants to know a little bit more about uh, Insignia, they can just look, you know, uh, go to our. Uh, uh, we also have a web page as uh, 
ins insigniaoriginal.com. So, you know, you can just find every anything from, from, you know, music to uh, information uh, about us. Okay. Cool, cool. And the uh, one, one, one other question for you on the, uh, the new single that you have that's com been coming uh, very, very soon. Uh, you guys are going to be uh, uh, shooting a video for that one as well. It's it's already done. Uh, oh, it's done. Wow. <laughs> I think I, I well okay. I, I already sent it to you. Yeah. Uh, you 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 yeah you you you'll uh, you'll be able to um, play to use it. Uh, I think we're we're releasing that on May nineteenth. Okay. Or the, uh, so yeah so yeah we it's, it's done and uh, I wanna I, I, you know I wanna. Uh, Thank everybody for being here and for uh, supporting us. We are really uh, so delighted. We we have your support and and thank you so much for it, for everything. You're wonderful. I appreciate you taking the time, Esther Hugo. Until next time, again, the door is always open. We will hope to have you back very very soon on the show. And uh, thank you so much. And to everyone who is watching today, again, gracias. Thank you so much uh, for tuning into the Keith Leon Live Show uh, here on Facebook and also YouTube as well. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you. Bye.